Hello and welcome to this Mastership tutorial video. Today I will show you our shell expansion functionality. On the screen we have the aft section of a large yacht. On the surface we have several construction elements as in bulkheads, windows, some longitudinal girders, a deck, and here we have the construction waterline. The first thing we need to do is set up the base expansion parameters. To do this we go to the shape tab and we run the setup command. First we are asked for the whole surface then the centerline curve the next question is to input the intervals of the ordinates. From minus 8 meters 500 millimeters to 14 meters every 500 millimeters. And then we are asked to input the 2D grid base point, which is the origin of the expansion. Now the or ordinates are generated. Now, as we don't need the surface anymore, we can hide the layer. Next thing is to bring the contour lines of the surface across into 2D. For that we use the 3D to 2D longitudinal command. and now we can bring across the construction waterline. As this curve has many points, generating the 2D curve takes a little while. However, if we do it again, generating the curve goes a lot quicker, almost instantaneous. This is because all the necessary information is saved in the background. First we will hide the 3D ordinates for better selectability. Then we will bring across the other 3D construction as in the bulkheads, the window framing and the windows, the deck, and the longitudinal girders. Now we have the basis for our shell expansion. In this shell expansion we can then design the longitudinal stiffeners and our plate seams and butts. I will switch now to a previously prepared drawing with the full expansion in it. Now we can bring across all the designed elements to 3D. An easy way to do this is to select it by layer. Now we bring across the plate seams into 3D. The seams and butts are projected onto the surface.
the next step is to do the same for the longitudinal stiffeners. There you go. And now we have a finished 3D seams plan and the longitudinal stiffener positions. This concludes this tutorial video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.